The underworld is not a friendly place. It's the home of several hard monsters, but it's also the home of some very helpful items. Today, we're going to count down the Terraria Top 5 Underworld Items. For the sake of this list, we're not going to be counting any drops from the Wall of Flesh. That's going to be a separate Top 5 in the future. This list is going to focus on items that can be found in shadow chests or dropped by mobs. Please keep in mind this is just my opinion. Feel free to share your Terraria Top 5 Underworld items down below in the comment section. I'd love to hear from you as always. Before we get started, I would like to give a quick shout out to the Drax. Now this is interesting because on the mobile edition only, there's a chance to actually have one of these spawn in the shadow chests. Granted, it's very low, but this gives you the ability of getting the Drax in pre-hard mode, which is ridiculously awesome. But again, that seems to be a mobile exclusive only. So with that, let's go ahead and get started at number five. Number five is the Hellwing Bow. It can be found in shadow chests in the underworld and can be gotten in pre-hard mode as of patch 1.3. This bow is interesting because it can have a wide firing arc, making it very inaccurate. But at the same time, this bow is very powerful. The bats fired can actually pierce indefinitely, meaning they can do a ton of damage to a bunch of enemies. While being inaccurate can make it annoying, the damage it does can't be ignored. Number four. The Demon Scythe is another helpful pre-hard mode drop that works out really well for mages. These are dropped by the Flying Demons, and they shoot circular projectiles that can remain stationary for two seconds, then gradually gain speed. This can actually work really great for the Wall of Flesh, especially the little eaters, but be prepared to have a lot of mana potions because after a while this can drain mana very quickly. Even after the fight, this remains useful in early hard mode and can help you progress down below in the underworld. Number three. Coming in at number three is the Hellfire. Now this is considered a upgrade for the Cascade, but this is dropped by any enemy in hard mode in the underground or lower cavern area. Pretty much where there's lava nearby ultimately. While this isn't as powerful as the Amarok, this is arguably easier to acquire. It's a great early hard mode weapon that applies the on fire debuff for extra damage. And if you decide to use it with the frost armor, you can actually apply both on fire and frost burn debuffs at the same time, giving the enemies the best of both worlds. Number two. Coming in at number two is the fire feather dropped by the red devils in hard mode with a one in 75 chance. While killing red devils is no easy task, I find this a little bit easier to get icy cores from the ice golems. The flame wings created are equivalent to the frozen leaf Mothron wings and actually many more. I'm placing this at number two because of the utility that's involved and it's somewhat easier to get than its counterparts. That is unless you have one platinum and you can afford the leaf wings. And finally, number one. Coming in at number one is the Unholy Trident, which is also dropped by the Red Devils with a one in 30 chance in hard mode. The base damage of this on PC is 73 while it is 65 on other platforms currently. These fast moving tridents can pierce up to two enemies at a fast rate, but cost a ton of mana. The unholy trident can be very awesome for mages, just be prepared with a lot of mana potions and try to reforge the mythical for the best results. If you're fortunate enough to get this during early hard mode, then this weapon can take you quite a long way. Just be prepared for the mana requirements. Okay everyone, that's going to do it for the Terraria Top 5 Underworld items. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to rate it accordingly as it helps the channel out greatly. Feel free to share your Terraria Top 5 Underworld items down below in the comments section. I'd love to hear from you. New viewers, subscribe for more Terraria Top 5s, Helping Hands, Gameplays, and much more as well as other titles on the channel. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please be sure to put them down below in the comments section as well. Have yourselves a wonderful day, it's almost over, and I'll see you again next time.